This is Geysir, a geothermal area and one of the most visited places here in Iceland, which we can find in the southern part of the island, about two hour drive from Keplavik International Airport. Geysir is part of so-called Golden Circle, which is a very popular scenic route combining many different sites. If you are self-driving, you can find a free parking lot on your right hand side if you are arriving from the west, or you can go a little bit further to a little bit less busy parking lot here on the road F333. Both of the parking lots are free and there is no admission fee to enter the site and so you can simply just walk in. There are several information boards with interesting information and a map which I recommend to take a photo of so you don't miss anything there. And unfortunately it is one of the places where you are not allowed to fly a drone. I first decided to skip the best part and leave that for the end and first I began exploring around the area. There are many steaming hot pools with clear blue water and I'm sure that many people will appreciate standing in a hot steam for a couple of seconds on a cold day to warm themselves up. Just keep in mind that it is not allowed to bath in any of the pools in the area. Kaiser is a very crowded place, but you can turn it into your advantage. One sneaky thing that you can do here is to pretend to be part of a guided group, as the guides always have some interesting information to share, and so you might learn something new. Even though many people head straight from the parking lot over to the main geyser called Strokur, watch it erupt and then leave, I recommend you to head up over to the viewpoint. The hike only takes about 10 to 15 minutes, and unlike down by the geyser, there are almost no people there. The viewing platform offers a great view over the area and if there is a good weather you will be also able to see the mountains in the back and this forest which by the way if you have a time is a great place for a picnic. And here in the back you can also notice there are some hotels where you can spend the night if you want to visit Geysir in the early hours when there is not many people there. Moreover, I also think that it is pretty cool to see the geyser erupt from up here and it is a great way to stretch your legs after a lot of sitting in the car. But yeah, let's finally head down to the main attraction and have a look what is it all about. It is really easy to find because all you have to do is to go where the huge crowd of people is standing and find yourself a good spot. Just be careful where the wind is coming from because you don't want to end up all wet. The case here erupts every 5 to 10 minutes and before it goes off it gives you a good indication by the sudden movement on the surface. It shoots the water up to 15 to 20 meters in the air and sometimes it is even followed by a second small eruption. If you only want to see Geysir, take a photo and go back to your car, you only need about 20 minutes. But if you would like to walk around a bit and enjoy the place, expect to be there for about one hour. I revisited this place after many years and I have to say, even though it is a very crowded spot, it is simply something that I think everyone visiting Iceland for the first time should have on their list of things to see. If you found this video helpful, you can drop a like or follow for more videos from Iceland and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.